Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. As you can see I've got a new upload schedule. I'm going to be trying to upload a bit more consistently. But basically this is all about the patch 1.1.1. Now when you first logged on this morning or if you've logged on yet. You'll get this new news little update saying Caustic and Gibraltar now have additional passive called Fortified. Which reduces damage taken by 10%. We've also made some balance updates for sniper rivals, Havoc, Wingman and Spit fire check out full patch notes now i'm going to basically be breaking this all down and be showing you gameplay of pretty much everything to do with the patch so yeah let's get on with the first one which is caustic and gibraltar now basically there's been a whole bunch of issues about their hitbox being too big so to kind of counterbalance this they've turned them into the proper tanky characters they were supposed to be by adding this fortified perk on both of them which reduces all damage they take by 10 percent now not only that but caustic his gas like his little gas trap canister things they now go straight from four tick upwards it doesn't start at one it starts at four now so that's also a big bonus now his ultimate the throwing distance 28 meters to 33 meters that extra five doesn't seem like much but testing that out in game it's actually a lot further than it seems now gibraltar his ability he's only got one extra ability besides the fortified which they both got and that is the gun shield health increase from 50 to 75 and i've been playing with gibraltar today and i've actually found that's really helped now the next one is to do with the sniper rifles the first one g7 scout triple take and longbow dmr now they've all had the leg shot damage reduction lowered because it was quite high it was at 25 percent now it's been lowered to 10 and reduced base weapon sway by about 33 percent that's a good third and reduced base sway speed by about 25 percent now this has actually made a lot of difference in terms of accuracy especially like close range combat um, but the main factor is definitely going to be for the longbow DMR. I've always said it's just been a bit too slow in terms of fire rate. And guess what? They've increased fire rate from 1.2 to 1.6. As you can see with the gameplay, it's a lot more faster and it's a lot more satisfying. And they've also increased the magazine, magazine size. The base was 5, now it's 6 rounds per clip. The common mag is 6 to 8. The rare mag is 8 to 10. And the epic mag is 10 to 12. Now the wingman itself has had a bit of a reduction and personally I think this is a really good balance for it. It's supposed to be a high damage weapon but it's 12 magazine clip with the extended purple. It, you can just sit there for ages popping 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 um, and I, I just think this will definitely help balance it out. It will keep it powerful without making it too just non-stop. Um, so they've reduced the magazine size so like the base was like six now it's four with the extended the common is reduced from eight to six the rare is nine to eight and the epic is 12 to 10 so the most you can get in a wingman now is 10 clips per mag and i, I don't have a lot of footage of it to be honest i i don't use the wingman too much i feel like it is a little bit cheap next on the list is my personal favorite the spitfire uh, it's a mix between the 301 and the spitfire for me at the moment but reduced base damage from 20 to 18. Honestly, it does make a lot of sense. And the magazine extender attachments reduced. So a standard 45 common is now 40, 55 to 45. That's a massive 10 reduction. And then the epic has been reduced from 60 to 55. And to be honest, I can imagine that in the future, they'll even further reduce that epic mag to 50 rounds because uh, as you can see in a lot of the clips i've been still using the spitfire all day and that five magazine size barely makes a difference to be honest you you're still hammering opponents down and if it takes 55 like just to down one like enemy then you, you definitely need to be improving on that aim the next is the Havoc, and this is one that I said in a previous like, the Havoc video I did. I specifically said they need to increase the magazine size to like at least 30 or something, just because it isn't enough. 
And sure enough, the Havoc increased base magazine size 25 to 32. And the charge beam reduced cost per shot 5 to 4. So if, when you charged up one of those big single shots, it would actually use up 5 of your ammo. That's now been reduced to 4 because it was taking up so much ammo. And the increased close range damage is 55 to 60. And the long range is 45 to 50 on those charged up shots. Now the close range damage fall off has been reduced by about 35 meters to 75 meters. See, you can shoot them for a lot longer before that damage reduction is going to appear. And it's the same with the long distance as well, the fall off. Um, but in terms of the Havoc like being a decent weapon, if you've got the energy ammo, it's actually putting up a decent fight now because you can pump out a few more rounds, you get that 32 mag round, and it actually really helps. Now another minor change they made was adjustments to gold weapon attachments. There was a lot of attachments on these special gold weapons you could find in, the, in Apex um that didn't really make a lot of sense and they've changed that now so the the gold havoc you can now has a turbocharger instead of that select fire which was really annoying and now has a one by two times hollow sight um the gold r301 that used to have like this two by four sight it's now got a one by two sight um which i i've managed to find one of them so you saw that one and then the golden wingman that used to have a one by two sight on it that everyone hated it now what it always should have had it now has the digital threat now one of the final things we're going to go over quickly is the battle pass like xp bonus that they're putting in because this is really handy in honor of the thick boy buffs we're going to be running a bonus battle pass xp event so in yesterday and today basically um your first top five of the day your squad places fifth or better in a match will grant you one full bonus battle pass level a full twenty nine thousand. 500 xp so one full battle pass and that counts no matter what battle pass level you're at whether it's level two or level 109 so that's going to be pretty useful i know a lot of people have found that to be more incentive and then last but not least we've got a few additional changes and the jump ship speed has been increased the speed by 50 percent and I, this definitely needed that I, i've had so many matches where i'll stay on see where people are jumping and nine times out of ten everyone's gone before the the bus ship things even gone over the halfway or even the quarter way mark sometimes so this is going to help people get down um to some of the long distance places quicker before everyone's already dead in the lobby um it's, it's definitely going to be useful because people used to do this dipping technique to get to long distance places quicker than the ship could get you there but now because of the ship's speed you can just do those plummet straight to your locations you don't have to do that dipping technique as much even though it still does help here and there um, but that's pretty much all of the patch notes i'm going to be doing this every single time a main patch comes out breaking everything down showing you as much gameplay as possible and i guarantee you there's going to be barely any guides out there that will go into as much detail with showing you as much footage as i have um, so definitely stick around if you aren't already subscribed hit the like button if you appreciate the effort and leave a comment let me know what you thought of the video and if you thought there could be anything improved but other than that have an awesome day i'm going to leave you with some amazing clips i've got with uh playing with gibraltar caustic all of these new updated items testing them all out and uh just some really amazing gameplay i, I got my highest ever damage counter at 2900 damage in one game today so if that doesn't deserve a like i don't know what does but other than that peace out enjoy the video
Decided. Aiden Delta says. Dude. Aiden Delta says. You're insane. <laughs> you are the Thanks, Apex man. champions. <laughs> oh my Aiden god, Delta that's the says. highest ever damage I've really ever well done. done. Oh, by 900. Fucking hell.